Hey, what's up, guys? Chris here again doing another cigarette review. This time on LM Reds. Uh, LM Reds, they're, uh, they're a discount brand uh, made by Philip Morris, which is the same company that makes Marlboro. And uh, yeah, let's light them up. This is what the cigarette looks like. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks pretty much like a Marlboro Red. It says L and M in gray. So, let's light it up. Uh, I want to show you my new lighter real quick. There it is. Orange and blue. Nick's colors. I'm a Nick's fan, so... They're actually having a pretty good year this year, so. Um, okay, so right off the bat, these are these are good. These are good for a discount brand. Um, I mean, actually, when I'm like in the mood for Marlboro Reds, and if I smoke Marlboro Reds for a while, but I don't have the money for them right now, these are what I get. Um, these are very, very similar to Marlboro Reds. They kind of, but they, they have their own taste. Um, um, but, uh, they, the only real complaint I have is they kind of have a strange aftertaste. But, uh, other than that, I mean, the strength is there. I mean, it's a little weaker, but what can you expect? It's not... It's not an A-grade cigarette like uh, Marlboro Red, like Marlboro Reds are, so they're not going to be as good. But they are passable. I mean, they are definitely good. I strongly recommend these if you're strapped for cash because, yeah, I mean these Marlboro Reds right now are 602 where I live in uh, Pennsylvania, and um, these are about 460. So, you know, um, yeah, these are definitely, if you're low on money, you definitely want to go for these because, I mean, I've had a couple of the other, like, discount brands, um, and really, I gotta say, in my opinion, I know some people don't like these, but in my opinion, these are probably the best, uh, discount full flavor cigarette you can get. I mean, I, I do like these, and I find myself like, um, uh, like when I start smoking these, sometimes I'll smoke pack, packs of these, and like even if I have the money for Marlboro Reds, I'll just forget, and I'll keep smoking these until I remember that, oh yeah, I can afford Marlboro Reds today. So, I mean, these are good. These are pretty damn good. I mean... Let's get to rating these. Um, the pack design. Um, I, I like the pack design. It's pretty cool. It's very basic. It just says L and M filter, and it has a little like L and M, like kind of like a Marlboro logo or something like that. Um, and then there it is. There L and M, L and M. Uh, so pack design, I'll have to give a four out of five because I do like it. It, it, it is a pretty badass looking pack. Uh, basic, but kind of the Marlboro Red pack is basic too. And sometimes simplicity is best, you know. Um, you don't need all this shit on the pack, you know. Sometimes. Um. Uh. Let's see, the uh, the burn rate, I'd have to give mm, either a three and a half or a four out of five. I mean, you, you get what you get with discount cigarettes, you know what I mean? Uh, these definitely burn slower than like USA Golds, for instance, or uh, Mavericks, in my opinion. Um, I'll take those over those, any, I'll take these over those any day. Um, Yeah, so that that gets about a three and a half or a four, uh, depending. Um, the strength gets like 
a four out of five. I mean, these are pretty. These are pretty good. I mean, they're just pretty much all they are, or like a toned down version of Marlboro Reds. I mean, they're not as strong. They don't burn as well, but they're good. So yeah. Um, overall, overall, uh, I'm gonna put it into two categories. I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five overall on just like cigarettes, like compared to every cigarette. But I'm gonna give these a four and a half out of five on the scale of discount cigarettes because these are a very good discount cigarette. And um, I don't know how long it's been, but this is how far I have right now. So uh, I don't know. Probably it's been about what four or five minutes. So three minutes. I don't know. I don't have a time tracker on this uh, webcam here. Um. But yeah, definitely, definitely recommend, especially if you're. Uh, if you're low on money, um, definitely buy a pack of these. These, these are worth it. I mean, they're good. They're good. That's all I have to say. They're good. Give a thumbs up. Uh, so let me just uh, have let me let me tell you what I'm gonna do uh, in the next couple of days. Um, tomorrow. Which, uh, depending on when I upload this, I'll probably upload this tomorrow, so depending, I mean, today's Monday, so Tuesday, I will be reviewing Marlboro 54s, and after, after I'm done with the, with these L&Ms and with the 54s, uh, probably Camel, I got a, uh, recommendation or a request I should say for uh, either camel filters or camel wides. I'm probably going to pick up camel filters because I bought a pack of camel wides once and at first I really liked them but toward the end of the pack I just wasn't, wasn't feeling them. I mean I'll probably review them one day but not soon. Uh, so camel filters are on my list to review next and uh, also Salem green labels um, and uh, Marlboro Skylines, Newport Reds, Newport Menthols, all in the coming week or so. I mean, I smoke about a pack a day, so, uh, so yeah. And this is a uh, oh, this is just about finished. So, so yeah. So those are L and M Reds. Oh, also real quick, I gotta say. Um, if you're looking for a new ashtray, or if you're looking for a ashtray, don't get one of these. Don't get one of the traditional ashtrays. Get this. Oh, wait. The butt bucket. Strongly recommend the butt bucket. This is one of the greatest inventions of all time. It is so cool. Buy one of these. I got it at the dollar store. So, go to your local Dollar Tree or Dollar Alley or whatever you have over there, 99 Cent Magic, whatever you get, you know, whatever, and pick up a butt bucket. Don't get a traditional ashtray. Get a butt bucket. Those, those are pretty fucking sweet, I must admit. All right, so that's the end of this review, and I'll see you uh, later to do my review on the uh, 54s. All right, fortune favors the bold which I've convinced now the hamburg is good because the bread is, is something special about the bread. The burger is good, but, I mean, I've had burgers that good. It's the bread. There's something about the bread in those Shake Shack hamburgers. I can't figure out what they do to the bread, but the bread is outrageous. I'm telling you, it's the bread. It's not the burger. The burger is good, but it's the, the bread is just incredibly good.